My name is Mark Spaulding, and in 2004, I worked with a developer to set up a foundation uh, called the Loretto Bay Foundation, and I served as its executive director. It was set up to share proceeds from the development. One percent of sales came to the foundation so that the development could give back both to the community and to the natural resources that everyone came to see at Loretto Bay. During the time that we were making grants in Loretto, we did a lot of exciting things. There were a whole set that had to do with human health. We made a large donation to building the town's first hospital and raised additional money for that hospital via a gala in Arizona. That hospital now provides great services for the community. Even before that was built, we knew that emergency response services were very, very limited. And so we did two things. We bought a Jaws of Life uh, set so that if there was an auto accident on the highway, people could be cut out of their car and rescued. The firemen who received that equipment also received a grant from us for training. We also built a shelter to park the ambulance in to prevent it from being baked in the heat and the medicines that were stored in it from being baked in the heat, uh, which dramatically uh, reduced response time because they didn't have to cool the ambulance and didn't have to bring the medicines from elsewhere uh, to the ambulance before leaving on a run. We helped build a new uh, animal neutering and spaying clinic called Animalandia and gave some grants to help do the actual spaying and neutering of animals when visiting veterinarians came to Loretto. One of the most inspiring stories from that is a local boy who watched and helped the doctors who visited, went away from Loretto and became a vet himself and has returned. We've also supported a lot of work with regard to sea turtles in Loretto. Aerial surveys to understand where sea turtles are nesting in the region, both on the islands and on the coast of the peninsula, but also the active activities of Grupo Tortoguero and its annual meetings that for nearly eight years were held in uh, Loretto. And one year was even combined with the International Sea Turtle Society meeting and we provided a lot of active engagement and support for that. I think one of the fascinating things for me is that I visited this community for 30 years. I have visited it when it was a small fishing village, but also when it became a bustling center for an active develop ongoing development and then again when the development was undergoing the difficulties of this last recession. And the people of Loreto, the Loretanos, are passionate about their community and it is so inspiring to be around them and know that they love their community through all of these changes and are always seeking the best for their community. And that passion, I think, has spread to the expatriates who have bought houses in town, as well as those who have bought houses or condos out in the development. And I think that particularly those expatriates in town think of themselves as part of Loretto and are as interested in protecting Loreto as the natives and Mexican Loretanos are. I feel like I've developed a lot of friendships in the town of Loreto, and those friendships are with Loretanos and expatriates, and I'm really confident in them, in the future that they see for their community and how they're all striving together to achieve that vision of a town that is healthier, is more sustainable, 
that doesn't lose its nature, its, its character, its culture, but advances at the same time with better health care, better education, and more opportunities for everyone in the town. Thank you.